インクスタートよ、What's up, everyone? Let's begin today with another episode of a new thing. Actually, this is going to be my first review. I believe it's my first, unless you count the creepy pasta reviews, but I don't. So,、uh, what I'm going to be telling you guys about now—it's also a bit of a tutorial—is the SAO Utils project. In case you're wondering about what that thing just there was, that was called Link a Start. Link Start. You know, it's 60% done at the moment. And it's awesome. It works on Windows 2000 XP, Win、uh, Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8. So、uh, what you're going to want to do to download is just scroll down, 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 down. Right here it says downloads. And I would download the. You would want to get the alpha, either the 32-bit full, or the, or the 64-bit full, depending on your computer,、uh, what and what it supports and how powerful it is, basically. I get the 64. I got the 64 bit because that's just how I roll. I go 64. Nintendo 64. Yeah. Okay. That. I see. I see too much. Too close to、uh, getting me this video taken down or restricted. So I'm not going to be showing that <laughs> for very long. Oh, Japanese backgrounds. Anyway, um, let's minimize all of this. And、uh, once you've downloaded, you're gonna get this uh file called. SAO Utils Alpha 2 Win 64 Pack or Win 34 Pack. You're gonna want to extract the files, which I've already done here, and you're gonna get all of these. You're gonna want to put them into a folder, you know, and then you're gonna want to open the SAO Utils application, and let's see what happens. Ink start. And there you go. Um, yeah. SAO SAO starts successfully. It says um. Okay, so I gotta explain what this what this is first. If you're not a fan of anime, then、uh, you can go ahead and leave this video. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier.、Uh, if you are a fan of anime, then maybe you've heard of Sword Art Online.、Uh, personally, it's my very favorite anime of all time.、Um, don't give me any hate in the comments. I don't care what you say. It's、uh, my personal opinion. Sao is my favorite, and I just really, really love it. The concept and everything is great, and I think it's done well.、Um, so this is basically It's kind of like a mod, but you're, for your computer itself, it's the、uh, Sword Art Online、uh, util utilities mod, basically. And、um, you're gonna get this thing, Yui, Mental Health、um, Character Program. I want to say I'm not sure what the C stands for. Zero zero one, Yui. And it says, "Good evening. Please call me Yui." You can、uh, open this up. And you can adjust your system settings and everything. You can go to your options, you can manage your plugins. Um, oh, and it even works with touchscreen, so you can feel like you're really an SAO. Because I'm using my、uh, touchscreen right here. I brag about that a lot, but you know, this this will、uh, toggle the options. I want them all on.、Uh, you can change your options in this, and then you can add stuff here. We'll get into that later. Let's go into the options. And you see up here, in this area around here, you can look at all the kind of stuff they have. You can have this little plus area. Well. well We'll have to、uh, get rid of the preferences first. You can either lock the launcher. I wouldn't recommend this because then you can't edit all the options. Show tool tips. I would recommend this. Touch friendly. I've never really understood what it does. The、uh, long press timeout. I don't know what that is because I haven't done anything with it. So you start with Windows. I would. I if you want this to start as soon as you boot up, keep that checked. Check for update. I would do that. Verbose mode. I've never done that. Verb sounds like word stuff. Anyway, I would,、uh, I, if I were you, I would enable the hotkey.、Um, here I have an Alt S. I think the default is Shift S. I'll show you what that does later. Appearance.、Um, I would leave this with Follow Cursor, but you might want to fix it into your screen.、Um, I would leave the Startup Animation on and Show Splash, but unless it's、uh, hurting your computer, I've never been able to get the 3D to display, but that's okay. Sounds. I would leave them all on, and the plugins. I would leave them all on, except I want Quick Launch on. Let's keep Quick. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Well, I'll show you what Quick Launch does. I don't keep Quick Launch on for a reason. What Quick Launch does, it leaves this little thing right here. You can move it around, click it, brings this screen up. I don't like this because I would keep it right here, except it goes behind my toolbar, which I don't want to do, and I don't really have a good place to put it. So let's go back into the options, plugins. Disable quick launch. I'm pretty sure you can also do this within the. Hold up, let's do this. Alt S. Let's see, 
plugins. Quick launch. Yes, I could just tap that, and it'll turn it on and off. It'll turn all of these off and on, including Yui. And now it's for the good stuff, okay? If you're a fan of SAO and you know what it goes on, because you're going to get a lot of these references, if you hold one of these... Hold up. Sorry, sorry. If you hold this, it'll open up the menu, and you can modify it. You can modify this, change all the uh, settings, you can change the name, you can edit the picture and to all these different kinds that they have. Um, if this will cancel, thank you. <laughs> you can change the info panel, the description, the image, everything. And uh, expand the menu. If you hold one of these, it'll bring up a little menu. Like for instance, notepad, you can add, you can add anything. You can modify this, this one right here. Let's see. Notepad again. I can lower it or raise it. Let's see. There we go. Or I can completely get rid of it and remove it. However, yeah, you can create a new one with this. Uh, you can rename it, whatever you want. I'm not going to be doing that at the moment. And eventually, you can get a whole bunch. I haven't really customized this enough to have a whole bunch onto here, but I'm planning to eventually. I could just do something like this. And there it goes, my, and my Steam pops up and everything. It'll just ask you to find the application you want to run. When you hit that button, it'll run it. So in theory, hold up, I'll show you. Uh, you could actually have your entire computer, you get rid of all your icons, you could have your entire computer run upon this one um, interface system. You tap this, it'll completely show uh, how much of your computer you're using, everything, your entire memory storage. This button right here will let you run a program or open anything. Right here, you can change the settings. It starts off with, um, this is the default name, Kirito, because that's the main character's um, name in Sword Art Online, but I'm going to be going back to Legend. This will show your computer's current battery. This shows the date and the time. Of course, we don't use it, really use this here in the U.S., but you know what? Whatever. Some of you might. Some of you might. This will show, actually, out of 200, oop, you can also move everything. Everything moves. Right here, this will show your uh, com current computer's, um, you know, uh, what's called battery out of all of it. And this is your level, it depends on uh, what you do with this. I don't remember exactly how you can gain levels. This shows how much memory you're using up. And you got this, your memory usage. Um, I'm apparently using uh, about three and a half gigs or so. You can just tap that again. And uh, I, I would keep this, it's supposed to be, um, it's normally up here. Oh, someone's messaging me on Skype, I'm not, Skype, I'm not gonna check that. Anyway, it would normally be somewhere up here um, I would recommend locking it to the taskbar just so you can access it anywhere from here. Or you can just go, um, Alt-S and do it here. Now, here's one of the cool Easter eggs you have. One thing from Sword Art Online. If you've seen the anime, you'll recognize this. You hold something that you're not able to edit. Let's say you, you can't edit the settings. Hold it. Immortal Object. That's how you edit any of these. You click it and you hold it. Immortal Object. And you should recognize that if you've ever seen the series. And uh, you'll have all these sorts of options. You can't click on any of these. They won't do anything. However, this is just a really amazing computer uh, mod that you can do. Help. So, uh, I would highly, highly recommend getting this, especially if you're a fan of anime. And especially, this is a must-have for any fan of Sword Art Online. Link will be in the description down below. And, um, I would, to add a 10... Personally, I give this a 10 out of 10, no questions, hands down. Um, practically, for most people, especially if you're not such a hardcore SAO fan, I'd give it um, at least an 8.5 out of 10. That's just, it's just so handy. And you've got Yui here who will be giving you updates and stuff. She'll be telling you all you need to know. It's not annoying at all. Trust me. It's not. And... Um, 8.5 to 9.5, possibly even a 10 out of 10 without my personal bias. It's just, it's so handy. I would highly recommend all of you get this. It's really cool. Feels like you're in a video game, and yes, my background is black. Give me a break. I don't care. I may change it to something cool eventually. <laughs> or I may just leave it black because it, it looks professional. Anyway, um, yeah, guys, just, it's amazing. Check it out. 10 out of 10. I love it. So... Thanks, Legend here. I would normally keep this probably on the left-hand side, except I have icons over there, and I don't feel like putting them on the right, just because, so I'm leaving this up here. Thanks, guys. I absolutely love this. 
and make sure you give, give this video a like if you enjoyed it or if it helped you. Leave a comment in the comment section down below and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave it down in the comments. I'll do my very best to answer you, and I'll do whatever I can. So uh, thanks, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Logging out.